What's going on everybody, it's Delmar and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the XR Hands package that just released by Unity as a pre-release package. We're also going to be updating and using a new version of the OpenXR plugin that is going to allow us to use this package. I'm also gonna show you how we can set up the demo scene, which is going to have the hand visualizer that Unity is providing by default. So let's jump into my computer and I start working on it. All right guys, so we're going to be getting the XR Hands package set up and because it's a pre-release, it's going to be a little bit different on how we're going to be installing that. So the first thing that I want you to do is go ahead and go into your assets. We're gonna be doing this with the Explorer and this is gonna be a project that I already pushed to, to get help and it's called the Unity. XRI new features, which is part of the new XRI features that Unity has been releasing. So I made a video about that, which you can also look at it from above. But if you have that already set up, which uses XR Interaction Toolkit 2.3.0 pre-1, you should be able to do what I'm about to show you. Then what I want you to do is go into your manifest. I'm going to use VS Code to do that. Normally use it for small things like this and then go into your manifest.json and you're gonna see here, there's a bunch of different packages and dependencies. We can put everything here within the XR and we're gonna be pasting these two lines. So it's going to be the com.unity XR open XR 1.6.0. And then I'm also going to be doing this other one in here, which I happen to have a couple of hands. And this one is com.unity.xr hands 1.1.0 pre that too. So you're gonna need these two versions. The reason why this is needed is because OpenXR, this version has been updated to work with hands. So make sure that you use this version or one that is above that. And then let's just make sure this has a comma. So once you do that, and you can basically just close out of this, Unity is going to be reloading those packages by default, it listens to changes on that manifest that JSON, and then it's going to going to install the packages for us. All right, so it looks like you finished installing and it has a bunch of different areas that you may need to validate, but we'll get back to that. Going to OpenXR and we're gonna be adding a new interaction profile under Android. So we're gonna be doing the Oculus Touch controller profile. I'm also going to be enabling hand tracking subsystem, which is what we just added, meta hand tracking aim, and also the meta quest support. It's really important that you use the plugin providers that have been updated to use this new XR Hands subsystem. And if you are a manufacturer that wants to implement this, the, the documentation on the Unity XR Hands tells you how to implement the provider, what you need to be inheriting from, which is the XR Hands subsystem, and also the XR Hand subsystem provider. And then basically you just have to implement and follow these specifications. So, the other thing for you, if you're using this on your own application, the you may want to test with it, right? So we want to do this also on the standalone version. So go ahead and add also the Oculus Touch provider. In this case, we're gonna be adding also the hand tracking subsystem and also that meta hand tracking aim that's going to be required. And then this one, you don't need to add it. I'm not really sure what it's showing, but those are gonna be the two that we need to enable. Now, if you go into project validation, everything should be okay there. And then also here, if you have any of these ones that are not, that are issues, just go ahead and make sure that you hit fix and it should fix everything for you. The next thing that I want you to do though, is now that we have the packages configured and installed, then you can go into package manager and we're gonna be finding our XR hands and they already have a samples in here that Unity created. I'm gonna go ahead and import this. And this is gonna have a very basic hand demo that basically just, just builds a mesh and it has all the different joints already mapped for you. So just gonna go ahead and open that up. Okay, so once you get that imported, we can just go ahead and close out of it. And you're gonna see that we have this new scene here that Unity provided. We can just save the changes on this scene here. And this one is pretty basic. It just has the XR origin and then also a component that they provide here as a prefab which is the, actually they didn't make it a prefab, but it is available, it's called the hand visualizer. And then they also have a joint and a velocity prefab that they provide. So if you look at some of the options in here, you can specify what the left hand is, what the right hand is. You can also, during the bug, you can say, okay, do you wanna draw the meshes? So or if you wanna draw the mesh 
for your own experience, you can do that. Also, if you want to debug the joints, you can do that. They also have a velocity prefab and then different options in here for the velocity type, either linear or angular. All right, guys, so I got these running and you guys can see that now we can track hands by using the XRI and also XR hands package. There's also a lot of different indicators in here. And if you look at those lines, what those indicate is the velocity. So if I were to move my hand up and down, that raise the signet, you know, where the velocity of the hand is actually going to. So if I go up, it's gonna be up. If I go down, it moves down. So it just gives you a lot of different debugging data. There's also all the different joints in here and everything is tracking beautifully and all the fingers are currently, you know, tracking correctly with this package. You can also see the different joints on my right hand, joints on the left hand, and you know, the Meta Quest hand tracking is pretty powerful. So this is working just as expected. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys today. If you guys have any questions about XR hands, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see this package and these changes available on GitHub, make sure you check me in Patreon where I'm making this code available. It's also available under the full source code tier, which you can get right now. And then you'll be able to get access to all my different repositories. So that's everything for today. Thank you very much, guys.